Oh my god. Like, I've gotta, like, lean back, which is very uncomfortable, because I'm gonna, like, get in there. But, uh... The silver case... Came... A day early. Good. I mean, not that it matters, it's late recording this, so it's not gonna go up to like, early morning the day it comes out, but whatever. Um... Does it say on here? It says it... Oh, it doesn't say anywhere on the actual box. But, uh, it's Suda51 slash Grasshopper. I think it's just Suda51. Suda51 works at Grasshopper. But he, uh... Like, up there with Japanese developers that make really weird games. It says it right here on this on this little booklet. This isn't an art book or like a um, instruction manual or anything. It's it's a it's a manga. Illustrated by Siuji. I've never seen SYU before. Siuji Takeda and Concept Suda Fifty One. Um. Kill the past. Um, wonderful compassion, memories, moments, people, desire, animals. Let's see what else. I mean, yeah, it's just a manga. I think it's the beginning of the game, actually. So. Yeah. Got the case. That's what I assume the front looks like. Number 99, Kill the Past. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'll ever play this. On top of being like a visual novel, it's also like a crime detective. And I don't know how good I am at those. It's like very hard to see art on the back. The box is a lot smaller than I thought. I was just, oh! I was just thinking, man, this knife is going to be hard to find because it's not right next to me. It was right next to me. Go figure. Yeah, so I thought it was going to come with like this huge ass poster, but uh, it didn't. It wasn't in the box. Like, this was outside the box. Well, it was in the box it shipped in, but it's, it was outside this. And, uh, yeah, so either the posters fold it really tight, or it's a lot smaller than I thought. Yeah, check it out. Okay. I'm not gonna make a video, because I already did a demo of the, um, PC version. Although I think in that I did say I was gonna make a video when I get the PS4 version. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, here's the poster. That's not anything important. If you want to steal that, it's not gonna matter. Let me... Open this in a way that... Well, okay. Whatever way I wanted to open it, it's not gonna open that way anymore. I'm kinda just forcing it open. This isn't how I usually open these poster bags, because I usually put the poster back in, because I don't have anywhere to hang them. I usually want to wait till like get them framed. Well, I can afford to get them framed. Yeah, okay, it is packed tight in there. That's usually how these posters are. Ugh. If I can somehow get it on camera, or at least part on camera. Oh, it's upside down. It's a lot less dim. Some weird robot lady. Spikes and shit. And, uh, I think, I guess that's supposed to be Suda's signature. I mean... I doubt every copyist personally signed is probably copy-paste, but still, that's cool. Somewhat of a signed poster. Got cleavage there. Actually, I might need to, like, keep this art on hand because of the color. I actually bought some art from a convention for that. I'm gonna have to, like, figure out how to digitize for the same reason. I don't want to just take a picture of it, that might not help in studying it. Here's the actual art book. You can tell because it says art book. Number 16, what the hell? Why is this all numbered? I wonder what the poster is numbered. Hey look, the grasshopper will go. Suda51 is like all up in grasshopper and vice versa. Kill the past. Um, it has zero lunatics on it. So why does the art book say 16? What's what's actually 16? Um, 
Oh, there is no 16, so they can just call whatever they want 16. Lots of very horrifying images. Number one, Deco Man. Decoy Man. I don't know what any of this actually means. The art reminds me of, like, older Shin Megami Tensei's. Like, a Digital Devil Summoner. Whichever one got remade on the 3DS. I played that one. It was fun. I can never... I, I'm not... I'm never gonna get... Get far into it. Partly because I traded it in, but, like... I stopped playing it. Kamui Drome. That's weird. Because Drome is, like... Not a Japanese word. Kumo Kamui is. I don't know what Kamui is, though. I heard it in the Naruto's. Life Cut. This is very, uh... All very Japanese. Like the, uh... Uh, uh, I forgot how it starts, but it's like, kill them all, I am trash man, life, life is a fuck, born to die, life is a fuck, kill them all, 1989, I am trash man, fight the future, kill the past, fight the future, yeah, not so much an art book in the sense of like, concept art, but like, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, promotional art, or stuff that would be in, like, posters, or stuff. Um, the Playism logo is here for some reason. Okay, you can't see the word Playism, but that's, like, the little yellow thing. It's really dark. I should- I need to fix this. I need, like, a white light bulb. Um, yeah. And then we got the game for PS4. Read it M for Mature. For what? What does it have? Blood, sexual themes, strong language, and violence. Is that... That's not 7 gigs, that's just 7 megs of save. I haven't seen... I literally haven't seen anything that small since, like, early PS3. Like, I don't even know if I have any PS3 games that are 7 meg save data. Do you just not install? We'll see. I'm gonna install it and we'll see. Get out cut this open. There's no instruction book clip. I can feel the lightness, but I guess we can, like, look at the disc. Uh, I opened Blue Reflection, and it had the little plastic tab that's, like, on gum. I guess the silver case hasn't caught up yet. Ah, well. Or maybe, like, it's Western games. Maybe, maybe, like, Japan gets my wolves. And I'm... S I knew it wasn't going to be there, but I'm, like, so disappointed. There's no instruction manual. There's the Blu-ray disc, though. Actually, yeah, the cover is the same. I didn't actually pay attention to the cover. But, yeah. Silver case, all the faces. 99, kill the pass. I am trash man. 4.10 billion cops dead. Uh, is that a soundtrack? Yeah. I actually, last time I did one of these, the video preview was like skipping all over the place. I was worried, like, oh no, am I dropping flames? Is the video gonna be laggy? But, uh, it actually turned out okay. I think. I didn't do that good of a job of, um, post production or whatever. So, I mean, I didn't notice. And, like, I got, like, 20 people to watch. So, and no one hated it, so, I don't know, I don't think, I think if it's, like, someone small and they're just watching, not for the person, but they're, but for the, um, contents, just throw that somewhere, contents of the, uh, video, and the video's not good, they'll just turn it off, they're not gonna bother unliking it, yeah, I don't know if I showed this already, I kinda just opened it, but yeah, it's kind of a little record thingy, this the little record needle. And, um, that's 34 songs. How many discs is this? It's one disc, I think. It could be two discs. But, looking at it, no, it's one disc. Damn, let me look at the CD. Yeah, the CD's packed. Like, I don't think it'll show up on here, but, I mean, it won't show up on here because the CD's packed, but, like, a lot of the times you can look at them. If the if like the CD only has like five songs on it, you can see the clear difference between uh, the written space and the not written space. 
C D V C A. Huh. So this is a regular contact disc. I wonder if that's like. Oh, I didn't. I didn't notice that. It's a little record. If anything, this game is like super stylish. But then again, uh, Suda Fifty One games usually are. I guess. I guess it should be noted that like the inside is like a picture. A transmitter receiver thingy. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, not a lot in this. That was that. I mean, that's it. It's not as big as uh. I mean, Toho had two games in it. Blue Reflections, like. And how much was this? Sixty dollars? Yeah. Hmm. That's not bad. Actually, I might leave this out. This seems like the kind of like music I should really attempt to get into so I'll leave that out I'll leave the game case out and like install it and stuff and check it out I don't know um I actually don't have any room for any more stuff so Whew. but the book it's going back in poster I kind of threw the oh no here it is I kind of ripped it though so I'm just gonna leave the poster out for the first time ever and that'll be that. That'll be the end of that. Yeah. It's the shortest one in a while. Unless I keep talking. Unless I talk for like 10 minutes. I ain't got much to talk about. I still haven't gotten Rules in the Twilight slash... Um... Oh, what was the other one? God... God... Uh, Future Wars... God's Pass... God Wars Future's Pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they haven't even charged my card, which is probably for the best they don't try, because I am broke. Uh, hopefully if I have, like, enough money after this week, I'll contact them and say, Hey, what's up? You know, charge me for these two games? They're both out now. And, you know, part of me is hoping that they'll come back with, like, Hey, uh, too late, bub, we're out of stock on both of those. Cause they're out of stock right now, uh, and then you know I don't have to pay them almost a hundred dollars for two games, but uh, yeah, no. it'll suck. Suck if I do. Suck if I don't. I think I just moved the camera a little. I'm gonna have to stop. Okay.